Hi guys, this is Sadek from Darwin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest TWRP recovery on OnePlus 9 and OnePlus 9 Pro running the latest Oxygen OS 13.1 based on Android 13. So do keep in mind, as of now, I've only done the testing on OnePlus 9 Pro. I don't have a OnePlus 9, but many have said that this recovery is also working on OnePlus 9 based on Android 13. So you are good to go ahead and try it out, but I have only tested it on OnePlus 9 Pro but still many have said that it's working so if you want you may try it out on your OnePlus 9 as well so on that note please check a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started I will show you two different methods of flashing the recovery the first one is a universal method which works across all the methods if your phone is ro having root if it's not having root or in any case whatsoever whereas in the second method I will show you how to install TWRP recovery if your phone is already having root via Magisk. So there are two different methods because our phone does not have a recovery partition. So since there is no recovery partition, we'll have to use the boot partition. So for flashing the TWRP recovery onto our phone, we'll use the boot partition. And likewise, if your phone has root via Magisk, then for rooting as well, Magisk uses the boot partition. So in both cases, the boot partition is only used. So if you have root via Magisk, it will be in the boot partition. Then if you flash the TWRP recovery, then that root will be gone and you will have the recovery, but the root will be gone. So I will show you how to obtain root as well as maintain the recovery onto your phone. Likewise, if you already have installed TWRP recovery in the boot partition and then you flash the Magisk, then Magisk might override the recovery. And although your phone will be rooted via Magisk, but you might lose TWRP recovery. So in those cases, if you want to have root as well as the recovery, then in those cases, the step two might be more beneficial. And you might also try the step one, but the step one is usually for those who don't have root currently. So anyways, I'll show you both this method as of now. My phone is non-rooted and it's on the latest Oxygen OS 13.1 and it's the OnePlus 9 Pro. So with that in mind, let's get started. First and foremost, you will have to download the Android SDK platform tools. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You could extract them anywhere you want. In my case, I have done the extraction in C drive and these are the files for platform tools. Once that is done, your next course of action is to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. So go to settings menu on your phone. From settings menu, go to about device. Then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back, again go back, go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone. So tap on OK. Once that is done, let's now verify the debugging connection. So go to platform to folder address bar, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt inside platform tools. Now type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting a serial ID. If you are not getting any ID, so in that case, simply unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone. Use the USB 2.0 port on your PC or tap on revoke USB debugging. So try out these tweaks and then you should get a serial ID next to the device keyword. So as you could see, we are now getting the ID and we could now move ahead with the next step. So next up, you will now have to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that doing so will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, then you could refer to my guide to unlock the bootloader and get this job done. In short, you have to boot to fastboot mode and use the fastboot flashing unlock command. Then use the volume key to highlight unlock the bootloader and press the power key to confirm. And with this, the bootloader will be unlocked. Once that is done, you could now get hold of the recovery. I am once again repeating it was it is made for OnePlus 9 Pro, but many have said that it's also working on the OnePlus 9. So please, if you're trying on OnePlus 9, make sure to exercise caution beforehand and take a backup beforehand just to be on safer side. So with that said, go to this folder and you will see three files as of now. So it will be something like this arranged by date. So go to the latest folder and then you will have to get hold of the boot IMG file. This boot IMG file is in fact the recovery file which you want. So download the file and then transfer the file to the platform to folder on your PC. So this is the file. Now for the ease of convenience, let me rename it to TWRP. 
because it's actually the recovery file since you are flashing it to the boot partition that's why it was named as boot img so for the ease of reference i have renamed it to twrp.img once that is done you will now have to boot your phone to fast boot mode so open cmd window and type in adb reboot bootloader and hit enter and your phone should now boot into fast boot mode in a matter of few seconds so let's just wait for the time frame and then we will move ahead with the next step so let's just wait and as you could see it's now in the fast boot mode now type in fast boot devices and hit enter and make sure that you are getting a serial id if you are not getting any id then you will have to install fast boot drivers on your pc so for that i have made a separate guide and a video you could refer to my guide and get this job done once that is done use the windows x shortcut keys choose device manager and then expand the android phone section and make sure your phone is being shown as android bootloader interface so this as well as the serial id next to fast boot signifies that the pc is able to read the phone in fast boot mode and we are now good to go ahead so now let's begin with the flashing process so first off i am showing the universal method that's applicable across all these use cases so first off i'll show you the universal method so for that verify that you have transferred the file inside the platform to folder and it's renamed as twrp.img once that is done again i am repeating since our phone does not have a recovery partition therefore we cannot directly flash it to the recovery partition moreover it's never recommended to flash the recovery file is always recommended to first boot it and verify if everything is working or not if something is wrong with the boot img or the recovery img file then if you have used the boot command then upon a, a subsequent reboot the boot img will be replaced by the stock boot img and our phone will be up and running but on the other hand if you have used the flash command and if something is wrong with the boot img then your phone will be in a boot loop or a soft break state and then you will have to extract the payload bin file via fast boot enhance and flash the boot, boot img file to get this job done and repair your phone which will take quite a lot of time so to avoid all that from happening always use the boot command and never use the flash command so with that said let's now temporarily boot our phone to twrp recovery via the fast boot boot command so fast boot boot and the name of the file which is twrp.img and hit enter and our phone should now temporarily boot into the recovery if something is wrong with the recovery then a subsequent reboot will rectify the issue on the other hand if you have used the flash command then it might prove to be a risky approach therefore always use the boot command so let's just verify the first boot up might take up some time so as you could see we are now in the twrp recovery so now it's just a temporarily one time boot we will now have to make this recovery permanent for that go to advanced select install flash current twrp and then do a right shift to flash it the flashing will now start and it could take up to around 30 to 40 seconds so let's just wait for the flashing to complete and then we will move ahead and verify the flashing process as well it will first flash the recovery to the boot partition and then it will also take up backup of the stock boot img so as of now the flashing is done and it's now backing up the boot partition so the process will take only around 8 to 10 seconds more so let's just wait and once the flashing is complete your first course of action is to verify if the recovery has been flashed permanently or not so the flashing is now complete now as you could see if the device was rooted previously then root has been overwritten and will need to be reinstalled because in the boot partition we have now installed the wrp recovery anyways go back again go back select reboot and choose recovery and our phone should now reboot to the twrp recovery if that happens then this signifies that the flashing is now successful and we are done with the job so let's just verify the same and our phone should now reboot to the twrp recovery in a matter of few seconds so as you could see we are now in the recovery so with this we have permanently flashed the twrp recovery onto our phone and with this we have also check marked the first method now i'll show you the second method in the second method is for those users who already have their phone booted by a magisk and they then want to flash the recovery file in other words they want to have root as well as they also want to have the twrp recovery installed onto their phone so for that i'll first and foremost have to root my phone and remove the twrp recovery from my phone as well 
so that might take a couple of minutes at the very max so for rooting my phone i could simply flash the magis zip file from here itself and let's just verify the process it will take only a few seconds so as of now i am showing the second method for that i'll just have to root my phone and remove the recovery from my phone once that is done i will then show you the second step method then how you could flash the recovery if you already have the root on your phone so i am just making a rooted environment for my phone and flashing the magisk zip file via the tvrp recovery it will take around few seconds so as you could see is flashing the new boot img file so it's flashing the boot image file so this signifies that it has flashed the file in the boot partition so it will now replace the tvrp with the stock recovery rather with the patch boot img file which is the magisk patch boot img file which is required for root so let's just wait for a few seconds my phone will now boot to the os and then i'll have to do a direct install via magisk to obtain permanent root and after that we could then move ahead and flash the recovery permanently so let's just wait for a few seconds and let me do the root permanent so you might not see the magisk apk here so you will simply have to install the app or rather update the magisk because it's there in the back end we just have to update it so let me update and now open it will ask it might ask for a direct install so tap on okay select direct install and tap on let's go and with this we have now magisk will now flash the boot img file in the boot partition and the process takes up to around 8 to 10 seconds so let's just wait and once that is done we will then have to restart my phone do keep in mind i am only doing so because my phone is not rooted if your phone is already rooted by magisk you could simply skip this section and move over to the next section so i just have to tap on reboot and with this i have obtained permanent root and then i could now move ahead and show you this method so as of now my phone is currently rooted by magisk but i don't have the tvrp recovery so now my aim will be to have the recovery installed when my phone is rooted by magisk that is the our second method so let's just wait for a few seconds for our phone to boot up and then we could initiate the second method as well and my phone should now boot into the os in a matter of few seconds and then so it's now booted so if i now launch the magic app just a minute to verify the process and so my phone is currently rooted by magic i have obtained root so in these cases this is the method to in which i already have magic but i want to install tvrp recovery now if you use this method of flashing magisk then in this case tvrp will overwrite magisk then you will lose the root but have the tvrp recovery so using the fast boot boot method and then flash current tvrp in that case while you will get the tvrp recovery but then you will end up losing root so to have root as well as the recovery at the same time let's go with the second method so for that you will have to download the tvrp zip file as well so in the same link you will have a tvrp zip file get it from here and transfer the zip file onto your phone as well so once you have transferred the zip file onto your phone you will now have to flash the zip file via magisk so launch magisk then go to modules tap on install from storage and select the tvrp zip file and tap on okay and the magisk will now flash the tvrp in the boot partition and it will take around 15 to 20 seconds while magisk is flashing this file do keep in mind that as soon as the flashing is complete you will not have to reboot your phone instead we will have to flash the magisk as well because as soon as the tvrp is flashed we will lose the root so to have root we will then flash magisk zip as well and then we will have both the recovery and the root i will show you that as well what i mean let's just wait for the flashing to go on and as of now the tvrp recovery is flashed to both the boot a and boot b partition so if you want to remove the recovery from your phone then in that case you will have to flash the stock boot img file to both the a and b partition i'll show you that at the at very end anyway as you could see the flashing of tvrp is now complete but it's saying that you are now unrooted so we will now have to obtain root as well for that go back and now tap on install from storage now select the magisk zip file and tap on okay and now magisk will now flash itself 
the zipper will flash as well. So as of now, we have flashed the TW RP and the magisk as well. Once that has happened, you could then reboot your phone to the OS. And with this, we will have both the TW RP as well as rooted via magisk. So I'll show you that. Let's just wait for a few seconds for the flashing to complete. So it's now flashing the new boot IMG file. And it will take around five to six seconds more. So let's just wait. Once you have flashed both the recovery and the magisk, you could now tap on reboot. And our phone will now reboot to the rooted OS. Do know that after simply flashing the recovery, do not reboot your phone. Instead, go ahead and flash the magisk zip file as well. And only after flashing the magisk zip, you should reboot your phone to the OS. So as of now, it's booting to the OS and then we'll verify the result. So it will take around five to six seconds. Let's just wait. And then we'll verify the result as well. So it's now booting to the OS and during this process, in some cases, the first boot up might take up some additional time, which is completely normal and nothing to worry about. Anyways, let me now launch the Magisk app. So currently, let me verify if I have rooted or not. So currently, as you could see, I am rooted by Magisk. So we have the root. Let's now verify if we have the recovery or not. So for that, we could simply reboot to recovery from here. Or you could also use the ADB reboot recovery command. So our phone should now reboot into the recovery in a matter of few seconds. And let's see whether it's the TW RP recovery or the stock recovery. This will verify the result as well. And our phone should now reboot to the TW RP recovery if everything has gone well and good. Otherwise, we will then be booted to the stock recovery if there's any issue. So as of now, I guess our phone should definitely boot to the recovery. So as you could see, we are now in the WRP recovery and we also have root. So guys, this was the second method on how you could install the recovery if you already have root. If you don't have root and you want to flash TWRP or it's, it's a universal method applicable across all the use cases, you could also try this or if you want to have root and recovery, then you could also opt for this method. Both this method will work equally good. There are no issues with any of these two methods. If you go for the second method, then you could after flashing the recovery, flash the magisk zip file via TWRP as well. Both the methods will work equally good. But if you have root, then it's highly recommended to opt for the second method. If you don't have root, then obviously you will have to go for the first method. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And thanks a lot for watching.